Hi, KO crew. My name is Jeannie. I'm a two-time All-American boxer out of Penn State University. I've been boxing for about seven years now, and I currently coach at Worth the Fight Boxing in Denver. So the way that I got into boxing was my roommate's boyfriend actually asked me if I'd want to go to a boxing class with him. Um, and at Penn State, there's a club team where anybody can go and join the practices. And I was terrified, of course, um, but I said, sure, why not? And I started going and the first time I was there, I remember sitting there on the ground and thinking, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so nervous right now. It's like 50 dudes, like two other girls. It felt really intimidating, um, but I had a friend there and that's one of my um, biggest pieces of advice that I can give is to go with a friend. Go with somebody who's also new and you guys can kind of bond over how silly you feel and how out of shape you might feel and then just stick with it. Like even if it feels really awkward at first or you feel like you're never going to be good at it, everybody starts somewhere. Even the best boxers in the world had a first day at some point in their lives. So really just stop the negative self-talk as much as you can and just have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously and you never know where it might take you. So obviously being in the combat sports world for the past seven years, I have trained at a ton of different gyms and most of them are male heavy. If not all, combat sports are male dominated and that's kind of the, just the way it is right now. Um, I'm hoping to change that. But I think that the first thing you can do is not assume that just because it's a male dominated gym that they're gonna treat you any sort of way or that you're gonna be looked down upon because most of the gyms I've been to, honestly, the guys have been really respectful and really uplifting and treated me as their equal. And maybe I'm lucky in that regard, um, or maybe I just force them to respect me. <laughs> but I think that going with an open mind and you might be surprised by what you find. Second of all, when I've, I've definitely been in a lot of gyms that did not feel that way. And it felt like there were a lot of male egos flying around and they felt like they couldn't be beat up by a girl, but they didn't know how to punch a girl. And I've sparred a lot of dudes and come across this a million times. And I think the thing that bothers me the most is probably being underestimated. I walk into a gym and I have blonde hair and I have pink gloves and the automatic assumption is that I'm just doing this for clout and I'm not a really good boxer and I don't have the type of skills that they have, even though I've been boxing for so long. And honestly, I've just used, I've learned to use that to my advantage. I step in the ring and they underestimate me. That help, that can only help me in the ring. So I think going in with an open mind and then if you need to, just proving yourself. Prove that you can work just as hard. Prove that you know the skills just as well and I think the rest will follow. So I think just like anybody who's ever done a combat sport in the history of the world, I've had more times that I can count where I wanted to quit. I've come pretty close to giving up more than a time or two. Um, I've had really bad sparring sessions. I've gotten knocked out. I've broken my nose. I've left the gym, you know, in tears, trying not to let anybody see. And I want to validate that it's, it's an emotional sport and it's okay to feel that way. Um, but I also want to encourage you to just not stop. I think that anything worth doing is worth doing half-assed. So if you wake up in the morning at 5.30 a.m. and you don't want to do it, it's cold outside and you're cozy in your bed and you're tired, um, just go and do it half-assed. Even that little bit of effort is going to be better than staying at home. I also believe that most things worth doing in life are hard and boxing is really freaking hard. <laughs> um, and I think that's why it can better you in so many different ways. And yeah, I just want to encourage you keep pushing just a little bit every day. It doesn't have to be hundred percent all the time. You're going to feel the emotions. You're going to go through it. And if you build that discipline, it's really going to serve you later in life.